hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial this is video 16 of this selenium video tutorial series and in this video i'll talk about uh, xpath or css selector which is better this is the most debated topic in selenium community uh, whether we should go for xpath or we should go for selenium selector so in this video i'll uh, just summarize this and i'll just uh, iterate which is better which we should prefer uh, to uh, to, uh, to before before you keep uh, watching this video, you should know what is XPath, what is CSS selector, what are the different ways to find XPath and CSS selector. You can refer my earlier videos for the same on my YouTube channel or on my blog. Fine. Now let us go to the exact topic: XPath or CSS selector. Let me open a paint. xpath and css selector or css path right so xpath is nothing but xml path right so the first advantage of this xpath is it is easy to write it is easy to write and remember xpath is easy to write and remember whereas css path is not so complex but then xpath it is bit complex it is bit complex in xpath there are various ways to find complex xpath or i can say um, various ways to find simply xpath right but in css there are there are various ways as well but less than xpath right so xpath is easy to write css path is bit complex than xpath then there are various ways to write xpath but there are less ways to write a css path you can you can refer my previous videos how to write xpath customize xpath customize css path right the next few advantages are xpath engines are different in each browser xpath engine are different in each browser whereas css is same in all browsers right so this is the biggest uh, advantage of css over xpath is xpath is xpath engine is different in each browser whereas css path is same in all browser right so this is the uh, uh, this is how css is preferred over xpath the another advantage is for internet explorer browser right so if you are using internet explorer browser it is not always like it is not necessary that your xpath will work always in internet explorer right because ie does not have a native xpath engine firefox and google chrome do have it do have them but internet explorer doesn't have it right so it is not necessary so it is not necessary that your xpath will always work in ie so what is the bullet point over here it is if you are using ie then you should go for css selector you should go i mean you should prefer it you should prefer for css selector than xpath if you are sure that okay if your automation project will always run on mozilla firefox or google chrome then you can always go for xpath right <coughs> the another thing is in xpath we can transverse from forward and backward direction now what is this okay so this is uh, one of the practice side automation practice side so what is meant by forward and transverse this mean is uh, let us say if i got 
this element let us say I want I got this element uniquely then based on this uniquely element I can find a relative x path of this element which is in forward direction or I can find a x path of this element which is in a backward direction to um, the x path which I found of the element right so this is what it can transverse forward and backward both that is the big advantage of x path whereas in CSS sorry this is in, whereas in CSS we can only find a CSS path of the element which is in forward direction right by using a greater than symbol or a space right so this is again one of the advantage of x path right so so based on all these points so based on all these points uh, what we can say is there are there are advantages of X path as well as there are advantages of CSS path right uh, as well uh, one more advantage of CSS path is CSS path is little bit faster over X path this is what is claimed but you can check it by yourself so I have checked so what happens is in most of the cases I can find CSS path is faster but in few case I can get a similar result or in even in some case my X path runs faster right so what you can do is for your test case what you can try is so look this is application to application dependency right so what you can do is uh, you can count the system time let us say what I am doing in this uh, test is I am navigating to some website I am navigating to some website and then in that website I am entering username password and clicking on logging in right so this is the operation which I am doing by using let us say this is by using my X path what I am doing is I am I, I am taking system start time after the browser is maximized and the stop time after it has clicked on login button then I am calculating a difference right so that that will give me total execution time in with X path right and in the similar way you can get it by using a CSS selector you can get a start time stop time and you can find out difference which is total execution time with CSS in a, uh, whatever browser you are using Right. so this is how you can find a time required and you can judge it by yourself okay in my case which is fa fast either CSS or XPath because this is application to application dependent how your um, application is coded right but it is claimed that CSS path is faster than XPath right there, there is no major difference but yes it is okay so based on these bullet points which I have just talked about what I can say is the locator type we can use is your choice if you are using IE then you need to definitely go for CSS right and if you are not using IE then you can prefer your X path right and another thing is which is the best locator strategy right so as per w3 standards as per w3 standards every uh, web element should have a <coughs> id right so your id should be the first preference to find web element to locate a web element id should be a first preference then your second preference should be a name your second preference should be a name your third preference can be a class but since the class may not be uh, a unique for uh, each web element and uh, because it will be based on the style um, so what you can do is third thing you can go for either CSS or XPath then so I'll suggest CSS or XPath based on your judgment right so you can judge your application based on this uh, this three four bullet points you can test it with a live example and one of the scenario and then judge it by yourself which uh, locator strategy it should uh, you should go for either CSS or X path but the common thing is CSS is little bit faster over X path then in CSS IE will work with CSS IE will work X path is easy to write easy to remember and we can write a complex X path it is very simple to write a complex XPath as well so this is the advantage of XPath
right so that's all uh, and you should prefer always id to locate a web element if id is not there then you should go for name if if even name and id is not there then you should think of whether i should use for xpath or css selector right uh, okay so that's it i have for this tutorial uh, whether you should prefer for a xpath or a css selector that that should be de decided by you based on your judgment right so based on this three four bullets point and uh, you can test your application and you can decide which is better and which you should go for either is xpath or css selector okay and that's it i have for this uh, topic thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel thanks